Hello everyone, I am Rishikesh Kulkarni. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the factor of safety. The concept is used for ensuring the desired working of component under the predicted condition. The factor of safety is the ratio of maximum stress, that means maximum strength of material to the design stress or design load acting on the, on the component. Maximum stress or maximum strength that means it is the value of maximum load that the component can sustain and design stress or design strength that means the load for which we are designing the component. Let's say for example suppose if we are designing a component particular component for a load of say 350 kN then the 350 kN will be a design stress or design load for that component. But if we are assigning a steel material to that particular component, if that steel have maximum load sustaining capacity equal to 600 N, then the maximum stress or maximum strength of the steel is 600 N, that means it is the maximum stress. and we are designing that component to take a load of 350 kN that means your, the, your design stress will be 350 kN therefore factor of safety will be 600 by 350 almost 1.5 something the factor of safety for ductile material can be expressed as yield strength of material to the design stress of that component for brittle material the factor of safety is given by the ultimate strength of material which is used for designing the component or ultimate load carrying capacity of material to the design stress we are designing that particular component. Next I will discuss the factors which governs the selection of factor of safety while de designing any component while assigning the material you will have to assign the factor of safety. How much factor of safety you have to alert there are some factors which govern the selection of factor of safety. Amongst those first is the extent of change of material properties during working. See suppose during working due to change in temperature, change in condition, properties of material may change. By taking into that consideration that means change of properties you have to select the proper factor of safety. Next the reliability of results. Many tests are carried out in lab on the standard specimen one cannot guarantee that all those results which are carried out in the laboratory can be applicable accurately to the actual working component. So depending upon that you will have to select the corresponding factor of safety from the design table. Next the reliability of applied load for I will give an example now if you are designing a shaft for motor the shaft is designed specially for torque. but Sometimes the shaft is subjected to some other forces such as vibrational forces and it may fail due to those forces also. So depending upon the reliability of exact force to which that component is subjected you have to act, apply or you have to select the factor of safety correspondingly. Next the next factor is assurance of mode of exact failure that means while designing we predict by which stress the component will fail but in actual condition that component doesn't fail or it may not fail according to our assumption by considering that point also you have to select the proper factor of safety next extent of simplifying assumption whatever the assumption we have assumed while designing any component you have to take the factor of safety correspondingly next extent of localized stresses the material during manufacturing some internal stresses or localized stresses are set up in the component due to their internal structure of material. By considering those localized stresses, select the proper factor of safety. Next, the initial stresses set up during manufacturing. While carrying out some machining processes that is manufacturing processes, due to the cutting tool and work interactions, some stresses, thermal stresses or any other stresses are developed in the component so by considering those stresses also you have to select the proper factor of safety next extent of loss of life if failure occur the meaning of this if the component fails 
then the breakdown of any machine caused due to the failure of any component which is present into that machine so by considering that also you have to select the proper factor of safety and last point is the extent of property loss in case of failure while working if failure occurs and due to that some properties may loss so according to that also you have to select the proper factor of safety this is about the factor of safety and considerations for selection of factor of safety in my next tutorial i am going to discuss about the stress concentration its remedies thank you for watching my video thank you